we want to do here is sample various segments of the stream. Kelsey and Erica have started doing that already. They're working in the cobble area. And uh, Erica is uh, lifting up uh, and scrubbing off fist-sized rocks while Kelsey holds the net. All the critters that Erica is dislodging should be washed into the net. And uh, when they're all done sampling, we'll be able to pick through those creatures and identify them and get diversity numbers for the different types of species that we have here in the creek. Brian is using a special meter, a Hana meter, to record the water temperature, the pH of the water, and the conductivity of the water. And those are just some of the physical measurements that we take while we're here. The creek bioassessment is really important to do because, well, in this area there are stream monitors who measure the various physical properties of the streams twice a month, but we do these bioassessments twice a year because looking at the critters that are in the creek gives us a better longer term view of what's happening in the creek. If something were to happen, uh, something were dumped in the creek one day and monitors came to check just for the physical and chemical properties the next day, they wouldn't pick up changes in the biota you know, the creatures living here. The creatures are kind of a blueprint, a thumbprint of what conditions are like in the creek. We're particularly interested in several different kinds of creatures that are here because they are not tolerant of pollution. When we look at what we find, we get a, a picture of the diversity and the more of the creatures that are not tolerant to pollution, if we have a great number and diversity of them, it, it lets us know that the creek is in fact healthy. If instead we find more of the creatures that are tolerant to high levels of pollution and not as many as the ones that, are, that need really clean water, then it tells us that something's going on in the creek. It's, it's subject to a lot of pollution or more pollution. One of the things that we're doing here, this is a stream that is, is pretty pristine and it gives us what we're collecting here, baseline information that over time will enable us, um, we're basically recording the baseline conditions here. And if development happens upstream of us in the watershed, as climate changes, the effects that that has on, on life in this stream, data that we've collected, will enable us to, to track that change, to see that change, because we have this baseline information. We've collected our sample and we're dividing it up uh, because it's easier to pick smaller volumes. And hopefully we have creatures in here, so we're giving them some water in which to move around making sure that this is empty so we got everything in our sample out. And then what we're going to do is take these up to the table, start to try and see what it is we found. So we're going to take the things that are in the large white trays and we're going to sort them out into these ice cube trays. And what we, uh, our goal here to do is to put creatures that are the same together in the same segment of the ice cube trays and creatures that are different in different ones. And at the end, we'll be able to compare what we've found and tally up how many different kinds we have found. The three types of creatures we care most about or have the greatest interest in are mayflies, stoneflies, and caddisflies because they are all pollution sensitive creatures. In the end, we're going to count everything that we found, lump it all together. We finished up our creek bioassessment and found a good diversity of mayflies, stoneflies, and caddisflies, um, which is what we hoped. We always hope to find that. You know, we did that again today. Not too many black flies or other high pollution tolerant species, so that's also nice to see. This area continues to be in a, a very natural state. 
um, we did a habitat assessment and, and looked at the plants growing on both banks and it's just not that heavily trafficked by people. Um, so this creek is, uh, as we hoped, um, showing all signs of being very healthy and we'll be continuing to monitor it um, twice a year, every year, for a very long time. Thanks for joining us here at the Campbell Creek Science Center and uh, come on down and, and visit the creek for yourself someday if you're, if you're around. <laughs>